The annual Filipino reunion is an opportunity for Filipino migrants to touch base with their community. Glenna was there when Pinos from all over New Zealand came together to celebrate their diverse and colourful culture. Mystery Creek in Hamilton, home to the annual National Agricultural Field Day and the Parachute Christian Music Festival, was host to this year's Filipino reunion. The aroma of native dishes tempted the crowd that awaited an evening of Filipino entertainment and culture from the Miss Philippines New Zealand contestants. Well, I've been missing home, so seeing a lot of Filipinos would actually uh, make me closer to home. Well, this is uh, a one-time event for the whole year, so it's nice to be here. And I think it, it makes sense for people to unite as well, to, 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 to connect back to their heritage. Uh, after all, you don't take in everything that New Zealand has to, to give. There are, there are certain values that we would like to retain. And to start with, we'll have... The hosts of the show were dressed in traditional Filipino costume, except for the MC, a popular comedian who delivered typical Filipino comedy by poking fun at most everyone, particularly the pageant contestants. What? But they gamely went along with the act. I got there. The audience enjoyed the performances and were entertained with song. Dance. And more dance. In fact, a little bit more dance than expected. Two numbers highlighted Filipino tradition, a Spanish-inspired pañuelo or shawl dance, and the dance of the Sari Manok, a feared yet much-loved bird in Philippine folklore. Oh, the Sari Manok? I, it was so impressive to me. I, I like that. I mean, uh, it depicts the, what we have in Mindanao, and uh, it's really a Filipino uh, talent that was shared to us. Of the nine performances, only two touched on Filipino tradition. Well, it concerns me a little bit because, you know, what I expected so much was more of a Filipino pants. But uh, I just also understand that these young people, you know, they're just starting, with, as young as they are, starting to uh, absorb the Filipino uh, culture. One contestant was able to sing entirely in Filipino, although she doesn't speak a word of the language. As with other migrants, preserving language and heritage for the next generation can be a struggle, particularly for Filipinos who are said to be quite adaptable by nature. Yeah, I guess it's like when you live in Rome, be like the Romans. So most of our youths, and there's that culture where they adapt to the new environment. Yeah, and what's in today, that's what they, they just feel more independent of expressing themselves. They seem to forget for a while the Filipino uh, culture and the Filipino style. But I would say that in due time, since that is really their, their blood, their ways of life, they would be able to get back to where they are from. Ultimately, it's up to the parents to keep tradition alive should they wish to keep it. Of course, most of them, because they grew up here, uh, they would share the talent that they have earned from this place. But I think uh, in the long run, they would start to absorb the Filipino lifestyle. It is hoped true Filipino talent and tradition will survive modernity and distance through events such as these. As for the pageant, Natasha Taylor, who danced the Sari Manok, won Miss Talent, while Hamilton's Danica Hibditch was crowned Miss Philippines New Zealand.